I've just built this A system that uses VO3.1 to create viral short form videos on autopilot. So this entire workflow created these videos without us doing anything. And in this video, I show you exactly how to set it up step by step. So how to build this automation. I'm sharing with you the prompts, all of the tools you need to use and how to connect NA then with VO3.1. Also, if you don't wanna to set up this entire automation from scratch and have it right away ready to use, you can check out our A Agents Accelerator. Um, I will put the link in the description. And when you go to the classroom, to the YouTube resources, uh, we have VO3.1 video generator. You've got all of the agents instructions. You've got Google Sheets template to copy, how to set up all of the steps, along with the JSON template to download right here. You can download it and then just import to your NADN. So you can just click on the three dots, import from file, and just import your very own workflow ready to use. But now let me show you exactly how to build it step by step. The first thing we add a scheduled trigger, and then right away we add our A agent to generate for us an idea for the entire content. We provide a prompt and here the system message. For the prompt we have, give me an idea to create the content about hilarious public interviews recorded on a camera. And for the system message, what we have, we've got role and purpose. You create viral short form videos ideas based on hilarious public interviews. And we've got capabilities to generate creative and comedic public interview scenarios. And also what's great, we've got interaction style, of course, output requirements, but we just defined the example output. So what we want to have is a caption, idea, environment, and status. We'll be using that later. Um, if you want to just read all of these instructions, you can stop the video. Also remember, we've got it inside our premium community. You can just copy and paste it. For now, what we can do, we can open our chat model and pick open AI. Then what we want to do is to pick our tool. We'll be using Think tool to just improve our agent uh, to make sure it works properly. And additionally, we need to require specific output format because we just want to take this entire format and use it as a form, basically. So we just pick structured output parser and we just use uh, we just use this specific format. Okay. With all that being said, um, we can go ahead and just test it out. So just run this entire agent and it should give us an idea with this entire content. So basically, let me show you. We should have the caption. We've got a caption, idea, environment, and status. We can give a name for this agent as a video idea. So video idea, event generation. And then let's just create another agent. That will be to actually generate a prompt we'll be using. So we can just go here, just select this entire agent and click Control D. Just provide it there. And for that, we would like to just delete structured output format. We don't need it. We just want to have only the prompt. Think tool can, can be here and open AI model. But now we need to change our prompt and system message, which is very crucial. Let's go back to our community. And here we've got a ready prompt. So inside we, we can just copy it and paste right there. And what we have, create for me prompt for the VO3.1, of course, a video based on the following information. We've got idea, we've got environment. So we've got these variables, we just provide them here. And for the system message, what we have, we've got this entire system message. So it's quite sophisticated, I need to say. I put a lot of effort into creating it. So let's just paste it here. And what we have, we've got the system message. We are a professional cinematic prompt generator for a video tools. We've got here VO 3.1 prompt structure guidelines. So each prompt should be natural, cinem cinematic, and visual immersive, including scene description, um, character. We've got the description for the character. What's the camera movement? What's the time of the day at lighting, uh, which is very important, atmosphere, style, quality, and so on. So it's really complex because for videos, for generating videos with VO3, we need to have the best quality prompt. Otherwise, we get a content which is unprofessional, okay? Uh, for now, let's click on execute step. Even let's disable the required sp specific output format. Let's execute the step and our agent will think for the best ever prompt for us. And now just take a look. Basically, I've got, I've got in a bustling urban park filled with leafy trees and scattered benches, a lively street interviewer stands holding a handheld microphone adorned with a visible logo. That's very, very cool. And basically, you will see. It's so great. Let's move on. 
the next step will be to actually save the information inside Google Sheets. So I've got the sheet, uh, which is ready to use. So here, basically, you can use it. You can copy that from our community. Of course, the link is in the description for the community. Um, let's go ahead, the Google Sheets. And now we would like to up and throw in Sheet. So let's pick um, VO3.1 videos, um, Sheet 1. And now what we have? We've got idea, caption, status, environment, and video um, URL. For now, we would like to only fulfill these four um, specific fields. So we've got idea, um, captions, the status is to create, and environment, okay? We can just execute the step, and then we should get the information here. So we've got two statuses. The first one is to create, and the second one is created. Perfect. Now we could get into just connecting VO3.1 um, to NADEN. So we'll be using an HTTP request. Um, so let's pick this one. And then we'll be using a website which is called Fall AI. So Fall AI is an application that allows us to connect with different models. So we've got VO3.1, we've got, for example, Clink Video, we've got VAN um, 2.5, and so on. So I recommend you to use it. And now what we can do, we can click on Try Now. And then we've got everything inside. So we can use text to video, text to video fast. Um, here we've got different models and we've got all the information how we need to do this. Also, um, we've got our API. So when we go back to Explore tab and here we just click on Manage API Keys, we can easily create our very own API Keys to connect. And now let's set up this HTTP request together. The first thing we wanna do is to copy this specific URL and just enable the method which is post. And then what we wanna do is to just go ahead and enable the authentication. It will be the generic credential type, um, generic credential type, header authentication. And now we need to create our very own new credential and we need to give it a name. So first we need to provide a name which is authorization. Then in the value, let's pick the expression, provide the key. And afterwards we need to paste our API key. We can go here, we can add the key, create key, and copy the key, okay? It's simple as that, just paste it here and click on save. Afterwards, what we need to do is to go ahead and, en and enable the body content type, which is row. So let's go here, we need to send a body, and we've got it row. And now what we need to do is to just provide the content type, which is application JSON, um, okay? And then the body, which is prompt, our prompt um, actually we've generated previously. So here, what we need to do actually is to pick this specific prompt. So um, let's rename it. Um, okay, generate prompt. Let's go right there. And now we need to just give a prompt. So let's go here and pick our output. And that's great, we've got our output. So this is our body. After it's done, we can rename it as create video and let's run it. So see if everything is correct. Let's execute the step. And now we've got a status which is in queue. We've got request ID. So that's perfect. And the next step we wanna add is to wait. So we need to wait for approximately two minutes. So let's go ahead with two minutes. Um, and now even let's provide the seconds because I guess the video is already generated. So we've got two seconds. Later, we can change it for two minutes. Then what we wanna do is to just um, get the status of the video. So once again, we pick HTTP request. And now the method is get. For the URL, let's go back to our community and pick this one to get the status. And now for the authentication, we need to pick generic credential type, click the status. And now for the authentication, we need to pick generic credential type, then header authentication and pick our credential, okay? We can execute the step and the status is completed, that's perfect. But in case it's not completed, basically what we wanna do is to just provide the if note. Uh, to just check if the status um, is equal to completed. Otherwise, we would like to do the following thing. So it's, if it's false, we would like to go here, wait for 10 seconds. So wait for 10 seconds. Okay, and then just once again, check for the status. Okay, so to go here, basically. Uh, we can just um, 
name it as check status. Perfect. So we wait 10 seconds. Uh, for now, even we can pin this specific video and these specific prompts. Perfect. Um, okay. So it works this way. We check the status. If um, the status is completed, we go ahead here. And then what we want to do, we want to get a video, obviously. So once again, uh, we can just duplicate this specific HTTP request. We get the video. Okay. For the URL, what we do, we go ahead and we just um, copy this specific URL. So we just check for the requests. Uh, okay. So we get a video, execute step. And then we've got some specific problems. So um, let's see what's the problem. Okay, so I've seen here we have some problem because I forgot to add um, this form of the body. So inside the curly bracket and brackets. And here what we need to do is to type the prompt colon and just provide the prompt inside the quotation marks. So be careful with the specific form. Um, I will just update it right now inside um, our community. So I can go here and I can just provide um, the prompt right there. So you can just copy it right there without any issues. But with all that being said, let me save it and let's go back to Naidan. Let's go here. Let's um, just pin this video. Let's click here. Okay, so we need to wait a while because the video is being processed. But after it's done, we need to set up our get video node. So we can go here to the community once again. And here, just um, use this specific URL. Um, this is not for creative video. This is for getting video. Okay, so we go here, we paste it, and then we can execute the step. Afterwards, we've got the URL, which is ready to use. And the last step for now will be to use Google Sheets to save our content. And for this case, I will be using um, a, an action, which is update row in a sheet. So we would like to pick this sheet. Um, sheet one, and then just um, select a column to match, which is idea. So let's pick an idea right here, whatever from here, let's say, and then change the status to create, create it, and the video URL from here. When we execute a step, uh, it will work probably. Yeah, we've got a video created, and now let's preview what we have inside. Tell me, what brings you joy today? All the world's a stage, and we are merely players. Everybody, come on now, put your hands up high. <laughs> so it's quite funny. Uh, but with this way, uh, we've created the entire automation to produce for us VO3 3.1 videos on autopilot without us doing anything. Also remember, you can customize this entire template. So let's say if you want to have videos for any other topic, you can customize the instructions inside the video idea generator or even generate prompt, okay? So you need to customize these two agents and then you're ready to go to create anything you want with VO 3.1. Okay, so we have it. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to leave a like and click subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment what you think about this entire automation about VO 3.1. For me, it's really decent. I mean, the videos are so cool. Uh, remember also to check out our premium community. Um, feel free to do this or not. We've got a lot of templates. We've got plus 55 NADEN cores. Um, a lot of NADEN templates, make templates, and so on. We'll be releasing Agent Builder course soon. Uh, for now, price is low, so consider joining or not. No pressure. But once again, thanks you for watching, and I will see you in the next material.